Hello friends, we are in Frankfurt at ISH Fair, the major event in the world of uh, bathroom equipment, heating and ventilation systems. And today I am going to show you the most inspiring novelties and acquaint with the current trends in the design of the bathroom. We will start, as always, with the trend analysis provided by the analysts of the Pop Up My Bathroom project. And in their opinion, there are four of them. The first, certainly one of the most important for Europe, is the sustainable bathroom. A bathroom that is designed according to the principles of sustainable development. And there are four of them. The first is the ability to include products in the so-called circular economy that is recycling and reuse. Of course, it is sustainable design, that is the design which pursues these principles and doesn't create unnecessary waste or require increased energy consumption. So all products become a bit reduced in design to the essentials. Of course, within this concept, the bathroom is also seen as a place for regeneration. Recovery is first and foremost about water, and water must be saved. And of course, a lot of attention is paid to products that consume water economically, because it is a valuable resource and, unfortunately, poorly renewable. Energy must also be used wisely, so products must be produced with minimum energy consumption, and the energy they consume must also be used wisely. Bathroom air quality is also very important, for which real plants are of course responsible. The second important trend is called well-being bathrooms, bathrooms for wellness. Since 2010, there has been a steady demand for home spas, but here the idea goes a little further, because relaxation is required not only for the body, but also for the mind. Mental health also comes to the fore. The flowing shapes, the narrative design, and of course the color scheme are responsible for this. It is warm, natural materials I use, and the tactile sensations of contact with these items are important. Body pleasures are not excluded either. Despite the predictions of some analysts that as a result of recent restrictions people are moving towards rural life, this is not happening. On the contrary, the urban population is growing. The price of real estate is increasing in connection with this. Real estate is becoming more compact. It certainly affects the size of bathrooms. So the third important trend is small bathrooms and solutions that allow you to organize them as conveniently and organically as possible. It's primarily furniture that is made to order. That is, the customization and personalization of washroom areas are important. Even in big bathrooms, it's important to make sure there are no barriers, but this is especially true in small bathrooms. Combining a toilet with bidet function also leads to more space. If possible, building everything into the wall is also a great solution to ensure that even a small bathroom is pleasing to the eye and is functional as possible. A towel heater combined with a mirror is of course a great solution for compact bathrooms, but it also carries a certain emotional component. And this is the last major trend in bathroom design according to the project's analyst of Pop Up My Bathroom. Of course, the main element of emotionality is the organization of bathroom space on the principle of living space. There is a place for objects that usually we meet in living rooms, bedrooms and dining rooms. There is a place for decor, home accessories and of course some textile products which also add warmth. 
but the experience of communicating with the bathroom also adds emotionality. Digitalization is not going anywhere, and here all the charms of these solutions are also presented. It's special emotions from the light scenarios that you can vary depending on your mood, and the introduction of natural elements not only in the form of shapes, but some real images in the bathroom space. Ceramica Globa at this show has 36 wash basins in different shapes and sizes. But if you add more colors, the options are almost endless. The shapes and sizes of the Chiotole collection have grown and they now come in trendy natural colors like terracotta, sand, cement and other shades of these materials. These colors promote the natural theme which is important right now. Of course, there is already a known e classici that is classic, but it is not a classic in the sense to which we are accustomed. It is already a design classic, a classic rectangular shape with a smooth bowl. And again, there are a lot of different modifications in terms of size and layout. There are double, single, top-mounted and pendant wash basins. The newest addition to the show, Le Lastre, is also a rectangular wash basin, but with the same Globofin technology, which is used in the production of Chiotoli wash basins. That is a special additive in ceramics that makes it possible to manufacture products that are super thin and super strong. Le Lastre also has different sizes and modifications, double, single, with the installation of one or two faucets per large bowl. And of course, complemented by various accessories, whether it be towel rays or open shelves for storage. Very interesting consoles that have side shelves. You have everything at hand, no need to open any cabinets, but it all looks very stylish and neat. In general, this work with so-called trompeuil is at the high level with Globo, because mirrors are equipped with the same shelves hidden behind a cosmetic mirror. That is, you get all the necessary functionality in the big mirror and the cosmetic mirror, and again, everything is at hand, but it all looks very stylish and neat. Mirrors can be equipped with elegant LED lighting. The round has its own light, the oval has its own form and oval when installed horizontally has a side light, which is also quite good. It can probably be installed on both sides if you want. It is also worth noting the countertops, which are presented in the form of ceramic with a choice of colors, the quartz agglomerate with an infinite choice of colors, here too, the combinations can be almost as many as the number of atoms in the universe. By the way, as for the ceramic finishes, we should remember that in addition to colors, Ceramica Globo has very interesting patterns of natural stone and terrazzo, and this also creates a certain character for the future bathroom. But if object exhibitionism is not your theme and you need to hide everything, if not from naughty eyes but from naughty hands, then closed storage is something Globo also offers. As we remember, compact bathrooms are announced as one of the important design trends. And Globo has something to offer here too. The whole line of toilets with a projection of only 43 centimeters can fit even in very compact spaces. A collaboration with Angeletti Ruzza has brought a well-deserved award. The Lalita collection goes a little, one might say, against everything else, as here the sides are, on the contrary, thick, but the shape is very smooth. It's worth noting that the backboard is higher than the outerboard, and this provides both a certain play of form and a certain comfort. But the big winner is the toilet. This toilet bowl receives the well-deserved Design Plus award because, firstly, it has the same soft and very nice shape. 
a very emotional form. You could even say feminine. Secondly, the main technical innovation is a tornado flush, and it is the most hygienic type of flush you can think of. And besides that, it is also the most silent. So both design and technology here in the Alliance bring this price. And in addition to glossy white, color versions are also possible here. If they are trendy pastel shades, they will be very good. And if you combine this collection also with the Koi series of bathtubs, which is in you at this show, it would be also great. Koi is a Japanese concept. It's Japanese carp, which according to the teachings of Feng Shui brings great luck. If you like, it's Japanese aesthetics. And if you like, the shape of the carp is also guessed at the silhouette of this bathtub. But the round version probably says more about Japanese aesthetics and bathing culture. It has a diameter of only 127 centimeters, corresponding to another important trend for compact bathrooms. If you have been subscribed to our channel long enough, you can follow the development of the chair design collection with us. We reported in Milan and now in Frankfurt. We have a look at some of the additions to the collection. First of all, let's talk about the freestanding wash basins. They are now available not only in stainless steel, both plain and natural and in PVD coatings, but also in Korean and natural marble. As for the natural marble, it can be absolutely any kind of it, in order to fully meet the aesthetic needs and possibly the budget of the project. In this case, it is presented in Bianco Carrara, but it can be also any other, just as the Abaco project can be in any marble, and not only in those presented in the fold of chair design. You can specify a particular variety and the company will make it according to your order. There's also an update, the Abaco project is now also available in Korean and apparently also in different colors. As for the metal parts, they can have different PVD finishes. All the drawers are functional, even the one under the toilet can be pulled out so you can store toilet paper, for example. In the drawer under the wash basin you can store cosmetics. The shower cabinet has its own drawer, which is a stainless steel frame with holes for the water to run off and is used to store various utensils so as not to spoil the minimalist look in accordance with the chair design concept. Chair design thought. There's no limit to perfection and improved the existing and very successful collections called Giotto, now Giotto Plus. You may ask, what has changed? A lot has actually changed in terms of design. Now there is no cut on the candle, it's perfectly geometric and nothing interferes its opening, made possible by the use of completely new cartridge. And incidentally, the exact same cartridge is now used in the existing Cartesio collection. And Cartesio has now also become Cartesio Plus. It has become more minimalist and harmonious. There's an addition for the Hook Garden collection. It's the first wall hang basin for chair design and can be made in all the colors and perfectly complements it. And of course, you can use it not only in the garden, you can also use it at home by installing some other faucet or use the Hook system as a solution for a public bathroom because it's all the more reason to do so. It looks really quite stylish. For a fancy restaurant, that's what you need. From other hand, the collection is the same as before. You can wash your bike, hang it to dry and also use the hose to water some flowers. Everything is 
very cool. By the way, and this is very important to know, Chair Design really listens to its customers. There was a request for a mechanical flush button for the urinal. The company always responds affirmatively to its customers, and now this option is available in the company's range. Hans Grohe traditionally performs strongly in its traditional position. The main idea of the booth is sustainability, and this is actually evident even in its design. There are fewer materials and only purely local materials are used in order to minimize damage to the environment. Of course, Hans Grohe products also embody this idea of sustainability. Let's start with the Hans Grohe brand. And let's start with the technical side, because in this sense, as always, the company from the Black Forest offers new and very interesting solutions. This is the updated iBox 2.0, which has now become even easier to install. It is almost impossible to make a mistake. With the shortage of qualified personnel and lack of time, this is very important. The polystyrene housing has a level, so you can perfectly align this device. Very easy to connect and also very easy to adjust the depth of installation due to the special ring and an amazing collar, which now does not need to be trimmed. It is adjustable to the depth of the wall and also has pre-installed waterproofing that will ensure the safe use of this device. So what to put on the new iBox? Basically, everything is the same as before, with some additional novelties. Here Hans Grohe offers two new products at once. Dual turn, with both temperature control and flow control are practically in one point, and shower select comfort, with the familiar large and very comfortable buttons that you can press with almost any part of your body. And all these thermostats are available in six different finishes and can be combined with other Hans Grohe ranges. And here, by the way, there's a lot to choose from. First of all, the Pulsify series has been expanded and now there's a Pulsify E. The shower heads are square in design and there are some technological innovations here too. We're all used to powder rain jets, which here are in the form of silicon lines, as well as a special hole for quick drainage of the remaining water from the shower head. Of course, we all remember that there is also the Pulsify S. These are round shower heads. And if you want something more premium, the Rainfinity line has also been expanded with the shower pipe. It's a very famous product from Hans Grohe and is now also available in this series in every possible finish. The brand new collection that Hans Grohe is presented at this show is called Tech Tourist and it offers a literal tectonic shift in the way water is saved. The faucet consumes only 4 liters per minute at 3 bars and is available in two versions. The S version is round in cross section and the E version is again square. By the way, you can trace this intersection in almost all collections because everywhere there is an S round and the E square. 
There's an absolutely amazing assortment of different faucet options on offer here. It can be a wash basin mixer, a towel with a swivel spout, a three position faucet or just about anything. They even have electronic control which is cool enough for a series that is not economy class but at least middle class or middle class. And also, there are various color finishes. All the other technologies that are already known from Hansgrohe are also present, such as convenient cool start, which allows you to save energy by turning on the faucet first with the cold water and then with warm water. Obviously, freestanding bathtubs are now also included in projects on a fairly limited budget. And Hans Grohe here offers a floor standing version of the bathtub mixer. By the way, another important idea that runs through the entire Hans Grohe assortment is the possibility to combine different collections. That is, you can choose texturis for the bathtub or for the wash basin and for instance the same pulsify for your shower and everything will go perfectly together in terms of finishes and design. Hans Grohe is also continuing to develop its collection of drainage systems. We were introduced to rain drain in 2021 and there's an undercut channel in a variety of finishes, the same PVD finish and also a channel for tiling in your own material which can also be a frameless solution and of course also point drains. Similarly, the extra storage collection of built-in niches and a variety of finishes and configurations has continued to expand with additional options such as doors. Wall storage accessories are now also made from recycled plastic. The fact is that in the manufacture of plastic products about 70% of raw materials go to waste. This plastic is recycled and now this green wall storage series is made, which is also pretty interesting and if you want to show concern for the planet, this is the product for you. Hansgrohe offers a solution for literally all kinds of wallets, and budget-friendly projects should not suffer in terms of choice of design. And now the well-known Logis collection, which is probably the most economical, is being developed. And now the Logis Fine collection is available. It's thinner, more refined, and also has a black matte finish, which is almost impossible to do without. Black is the new crow. And the highlight of the show, the Hansgrohe brand offers a complete bathroom solution. Now it offers ceramic, wash basins of different sizes, shapes and types of installation, and even toilets. In addition to the rimless flush system, it's also funnel shaped and of course all the other delights such as Duraplus seat with soft closing are also here. So now you can make your bathroom a complete Hansgrohe bathroom. And if you want to make it really complete, they also offer a complete range of furniture, so you can make your bathroom really complete. The fronts are available in two designs and 12 different finishes, both with handles and push-to-open mechanisms.
The company asked designers and architects to make three bathrooms to show how amazing it can be to mix and match Axor's premium collection. The first is called Gretel and Hansel and is appropriately inspired by the fairy tales of the brothers Grimm, who incidentally come from the Black Forest where the company Hans Grohe is based. The designer was Ushi Tambriela, who is a Swiss designer, and she proposed the concept of the male and female bathroom within the same space and did so by combining different collections. My edition in new finishes with new wash basins, square and round, with a PVD metal edge trim of your choice from the 15 possible colors that the AXA brand offers. This is a new product that was designed by Philip Star. Accordingly, different designers, different collections and different finishes can be combined very boldly. Hadi Tegrani, an architect, was in charge for designing the second bathroom. He's from Germany and this is his vision of the regeneration space. This space also has an interesting novelty from the same Philip Stark, a freestanding bathtub also in mineral cast as well as the wash basins and an optional shelf which can also be done in different finishes. And the third bathroom was created by the already famous London duo Barbara and Osgerby. It is called Skyline and presents all the possibilities of combining products from the Axor One collection in different colors. As for colors, here we should remind you that the colors can be not only PVD, not only matte white and black, but also six absolutely unique pastel shades, very trendy, in order to create the bathroom of your dreams. Of course, for us, the most interesting part is the evolution of AXA Shower Solution Series, now called AXA Shower Composition. These are new products that can also be combined with each other and have a very interesting control system, a little industrial look, and cool switches in the form of almost historical switches of electrical appliances. There are overhead showers, side showers, a combination of overhead and side showers, the ability to install controls horizontally and vertically, and of course in all 15 possible finishes. And the main difference with shower solutions is that it's only 10 mm deep. Of course, Hans Grohe and the Axo brand are not only about beauty and amazing design, they're also about comfort and convenience. And here they showcase a new collection of shower hoses. It seems like such a small object, but sometimes it can be uncomfortable. Firstly, this one is made of recycled materials. And secondly, thanks to special technology, it is very flexible, doesn't cause any discomfort and moves exactly behind your hand the way you want it to. And of course, you have to take note of the special hinge that prevents it from twisting. And that's really cool. Both Axe and Hans Grohe now have these solutions. The Axor Universal Accessory Collection is also evolving. We are already familiar with what is now called Soft Cube, which is a collection that has rounded corners but a rectangular shape. Not so long ago, the Circular Collection appeared. That is round design, round cross section, and round flanges. And this collection is ideal for the corresponding Axor Mixes collection. This year, they have introduced a third design, rectangular sharper edges and thinner silhouettes so you can equip any ARCS collection with accessories. In the same way, you can complete the shower area with AXA drain. They come in a wide range of standard sizes and the same 15 different finishes. Of course, for special projects, sometimes the huge selection that is available is not enough. Or if you want architects 
can't order by the menu. They invent dishes or come up with products. Axor meets these challenges too. In addition to offering 15 different PVD finishes and also color finishes, you can customize products individually for your project. Here's a wonderful example, which was realized for the Villa Copenhagen. The Montreux collection, already well known and very successful, was enhanced with the new knobs with amethyst inlays. The architects have literally drawn these handles, and AXA has fulfilled that wish. So, if you find yourself in Copenhagen, you should definitely come and have a look. Of course, all this development is possible only with a glance into the future. One can say that Hans Grohe looks far enough into the future, but really not that distant, you might think. Here's on this show, Hans Grohe is launching a concept, Initiative 2030, where the bathroom will consume significantly less energy and significantly less water. The shower, for example, will consume 2.5 liters per minute while the basin mixer only consumes 0.4 liters. This will significantly reduce the consumption of resources. Similarly, it is proposed to rethink the concept of the bathtub. You no longer have to be immersed in it. You can lie on the chaise longue and get a micro dispersion of water and feel exactly the same way, recovering with the water but with the significantly less consumption of this very valuable resource. I think this is very interesting and we will continue to follow the development of this concept and the renewal of the Hans Grohe collection. They are very good. On this stand, there are not a lot of surprising new products or trends, with the exception of one model, which appeared only this year and which is just the possibility of different colored paints. Having rounded corners in every possible cross-section is, of course, very advanced design for a German company. Here we should pay attention to a general trend towards sustainable development even in the presentation of the new products, because many booths of the big companies are greatly reduced, especially in terms of materials. Here, for example, there are no external walls, instead there are external curtains. And as for the structure itself, where the samples are actually presented, it is made of very inexpensive materials, local materials that took the least amount of energy to move and make art, a good example of sustainable design and development. However, the design is rather boring. Missing the stand of the famous Swiss brand is of course impossible. There were changes in location and of course there were some novelties and they are presented in all the main product categories. First of all, there's a tornado flash in the fairly economical account model and it's already becoming a good practice. Recall that the Jeberit were the pioneers of this technology and now, after a few years, it is a must. Secondly, the new flush plates in different PVD finishes have a minimalist and, as the creator claims, floating design. It looks really quite spectacular, one might say emotionally and quite in line with the trends, but pedants will have questions. How to take care of it? The third novelty worth paying attention is the updated drainage channel, which managed to get the Design Plus award too. There is a definite development, but overall, the company is staying true to itself.
Friends, the fair is huge, a lot of novelties, so we'll take a break and we'll continue in the next episode, so don't miss it!